All right. So, today I got a couple of things for you guys. First off, the the top of the vertical thing. You know, I really don't understand what is happening, to be completely honest. I think what's happened is that I'm using uh, sources or scenes, right, to produce, like, me standing here. Like, I've already, these are preset. So what I think I got to do is I got to make whole new ones because what happens is when I try to switch my scenes, right, because I wanted to have different angles of seeing the actual wheel, you know, I wanted to have all those <laughs> different angles. And the biggest problem I was running into was that the when I switched the screen or the scene on the main recording, it would not switch the scene here as you see me now. It would switch the scene over there, and I was just like, "Oh, come on, man!" It was just really annoying. But you know, I think that's just kind of how like life is when it comes to these sort of things. So I think realistically, I don't have time to fuss around with it today. So I'm just gonna keep on chugging along here and maybe it'll be a problem for tomorrow, Pottery Demon. Um, but yeah, you know, we just are going through it and we're just gonna keep on moving forward. So I'll see you guys over there in a second. All right, um, what's the thing again? Oh yeah, let's wheel. Right? Isn't that so crazy? All right. Oh, no audio on it. Are you kidding me? That's so depressing. There's literally no audio on it. <sighs> I wonder if it's like a, if the audio was too low or something. It should have been playing. Whatever. We'll just keep on cruising. I have like, I've been, I was making like all these freaking video edits and uh, I don't know, they, they took me like a pretty long time because I throw every day and so there was a while where I was trying to figure out, well, you know what, I'll make like some imagery of um, like some funk music and different types of music and me just like kind of playing up my throwing. And now I'm like, oh, dude, I can use those as like little mini commercial breaks and stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Dang, you know, just so you know, you're like my first person I've communicated with while I've been throwing ever. Like this is kind of cool to me. But again, I got my knuckle and I'm just taking my finger up. And I, there's like a little bump. You can see this like little bump and that's all I'm doing is I'm pushing it against my knuckle as I'm going upward to create this little, this little vessel here, right? And so that first pull, it's not really about, you know, going too crazy with your, your throwing at the start, right? Like you don't wanna get height right at the beginning is what you want is you want equal wall thickness, right? And so here I am pushing some of that clay down. I'm waiting for this little bump to arrive. And again, we got this nice little bump and we say, hello, you know, we ask it how it's doing. And we always know that the bump, it just wants to go up to the top, right? And so there you go. Look at that. And we just take this all the way up the side of the pot, right? And I call these like the veins. Right now I'm making a thousand of these tree forms, right? And so you start with by making the veins and what you're doing is you're causing places for it to want to collapse in, right? And so I'm gonna push very slowly out and you'll see it starts to want to be guided in there. And we slow it down. And look at that, we got our tree, right? And so for me, like, I'm not concerned with making pots that people have made, you know, for thousands and thousands of years. I'm, I wanted to make like a whole entire new genre of pottery, right? Like they're all just camping out in my room right now. Here's the first one, by the way. Um, they're all just camping out in my room right now, not really doing a whole lot except just sitting there. Um, but yeah, do I smash them? No, I don't, I don't smash them. Uh, yeah, I just keep them in my room. One day they'll be fired and I'm making a thousand of these trees and so I hope that one day I can have a whole room to the point where you can't even walk into the room. You know, like, I think that would just be like next level. We, we ask it, we say, hey, what do you got for me down here, you know? 
And the pot will say, hey, I got a little bump for you, right? And it's this little bump is you want to go pretty slow. And I always say it's kind of like a slug. You know, your hands are like a slug moving up the side of the pots here, right? A lot of people will burn through it, but realistically, you want to be pretty slow, consistent, and focused. And the clay will literally just glide up the side, right? There's no gaslighting yourself into thinking that you did a good job on the wheel because it's a very simple thing. It's not like normal sculpture where, you know, there's so many different factors and what tools you use and how you squeeze your hand. I try to like minimize all the different factors when I'm working with an object. And so it becomes just a really nice, honest reflection of what you're doing on the wheel. All right. And so here we are getting some of that water out of that base. I do throw with a lot of water. That's something that like people have always said, like you throw with so much water. But I kind of, I don't mind, you know, one, two, Six. Okay. Up, 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 up. And whenever you go do one thing uh, in ceramics, and if you keep doing it, you emphasize that thing, right? And so you can see in this middle part, I'm just trying to make it collapse in this middle part rather than on the top. We'll see how I did here in a second. Let me so slow down the wheel. Okay. Look at that. Oh, this one is freaking next level. So here we go. We're going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So always have a nice something little on that bottom of that skirt there. And we just pop that up. You know? Look at this. Somebody else said something. Let's see what they said. I need to get like up my... I either need binoculars or something else. So somebody else asked, do I sell my pieces? No, I don't, I don't sell anything right now, but one day, one day I will. But for right now, I'm just uh, a solo collector of my, own, of my own work. But here's this. You never want to start right at it because when you go start at it, when you go back to the bottom and pull another, like pull it up, you'll actually, your hand will go into the same channel where you messed up. And so I always say you want to start below where you messed up at, right? Or a collar or anything really. Remember, take that bump all the way up to the top there. Nice, look at that. Three, four, five, six. And so we want to just make sure we're not going too crazy here. I can already feel that this is too thin in some spots. And so I want to emphasize this middle down part here. And so I got a little bit of a rip there, you saw. But that's okay. Because we really just want to make sure this top, I can already tell that it's going to be a little bit wobbly when it collapses. But again, we're just slowly buckling this out. And when we get to the top here, we slow the wheel down. And so this one didn't really collapse too much on this middle. So I'm going to manually kind of twist it down. And so that's all you do. You know, wipe your hands off. Clay stiff enough for me to hold it. And I just let it spin, you know as it and then here you go you got the twist so here we go curling this up looks nice great push that in again i curl this up look at that curl nice cool so i take a little bit of time and i sort of adjust on this bottom part here and then i have something cool on this bottom part you know i think one of the i mean one of these days i really 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 want to get the um just the camera working in a better format for you guys. 
uh, there's one thing I say at the end of every single one of my, my little videos or streams is I say, all the best and strong mentality.